Greetings everyone and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. I know it's been a while, it's been like a week and a half or two I think and everyone's probably like oh god I see a fucking Skyrim modders playthrough. Did he just quit Knights of the Old Republic? Is this being ignored now? No, I haven't forgotten about it. I just, I obviously give my streams more priority than actual recordings. But, um, yeah, we're finally back with Knights of the Old Republic. It's also going to be a very long day for me because it's two hours of recording. Sorry. Then the rendering of the video. But then I'm going to take a small break. And I'll be streaming for three hours. And then I can take another break. I still need to do fitness as well. It's a long day. You think, you finally don't have to work? And <laughs> what are you doing at home? Work. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This isn't really work. And if I could do this as my main job, then I I would never in my life be complaining. But we can't. So the thing I remember, actually, is we've been doing two of these tombs already. But um, we need to basically do the third one. However... My, if my memory serves me right, I basically have to also go back temporarily because there should be a quest where one of the girls, La Shower or so, she is going to find some sort of holocron or whatever, but she's like at the end of that place in Corbin, but I didn't see her, so I assume I need to talk to her after knowing the Sith Code. And I just kindly forgot about it. Feels good to be back in Knights of the Republic. Like I said, it's been a it's been a week and a half or two weeks. It's been eleven days pretty much since I last played the game. So yeah. But man, there's something. This ah, this game is too nostalgic for me. I'm telling you, it ain't good for me. This way. <laughs> I'm completely lost. You hanging around still? Don't you have your own A mecha, right? right? You might as well just go. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't do anything and the 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 girl back already. Well, I don't have anything. Yeah, please. What a but we haven't found anything yet. For some reason. You? I remember you from the colony. Uh, you're trying to become a Sith as well? Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that there we I go. have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this. I think I had the option past. already, but really I chance. immediately asked her for a jewel and I got Ignored and then I had to leave. You talk bit, but big, but that's a. In what way is that? I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. Why haven't you brought it to Uthar yet? I don't have it just yet. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. It's guarded, isn't it? So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Maybe I could help you get it? Now, where are you going with this, I wonder? Help me get it? I don't know. Hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Um. Oh, God. I mean, to be honest, she seems very self-centered. So if I compliment her, she's going to be like, Ah, oh, yes, right. You dogs will have to... Flattery, is it? I suppose it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others, for sure. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley. See you there. Remember, this I don't trust her. She's going to take it for herself as far as I remember. But at least I have the quests. Um, and like I say, there's probably like a couple quests that I 
failed or won't be able to complete. But I do want to see if I can get at least 80 or 85% done. That's like the general rule. Um, <laughs> fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Mm. It's it's almost 3 p.m. And this, this is my first drink of the day. I don't do what I'm doing. Make sure to drink well enough. I just simply, I'm always too, I spend too much time thinking about stuff and I completely forget to... Uh, drink that's my that's the issue see now she's there oh, oh it's saving it's it's confusing because the quick save on skyrim is f5 which is quick load here and quick saving here is f4 and f yeah it's it's i'm gonna make the mistake sooner or later and it's gonna fucking sting there you are finally if you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling to the Takata. Bro, I used four speeds. Fairly... Ah, here she comes now. <laughs> Get ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. Sixty nine. Nice. Sixty four. Nice. Wonderful. <laughs> the beast is dead. We work better together than I would have hoped. I'll take the holocron. Here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. Uh-huh. Yes, of course. Because that's how it works. Um. Uh, no way. I'll be taking the holocron back, not you. You're not getting the holocron. This was my idea. The plan was that I take it back, not you. Um, but the plan was we both get the credit. Back off. I'm warning you. I'm not giving this up. No more arguing. We take it back together. Over my dead body. You know, you could have just... Okay. You should have listen listened. But you don't, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, I got a thousand XP. From the... Okay. I got the holocron, great. Uh, but now that we're here anyways... Ooh, we can go and travel to the next area. <laughs> Do I really care much about loot nowadays? What What is it that I still need in this game? I just need my what? I have only one more level. Oh. This will be my final level. Then I won't get to level anymore. That's kind of boring. Nice. Uh, you do the stuff. I need to talk to uh, Jolie in the meantime because I. I okay. 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 You never did actually say why you decided to come with me. Oh, I never did, did I? Um. Are you always going to be this elusive? Elusive? Me elusive? Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Andorin Willick juice. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. You move on to where? To bed. I'm old and tired, you know. No, really. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I'd bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. 
Then there's all the critters in the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? No, I guess not. There. Now, was that so hard? An old man has to be allowed some petty eccentricities. Nice to see you agree for once. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. You know what my destiny is? Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? I can see that you have a destiny before you, but the details I mean, are far <laughs> from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. I mean, don't you already know? <laughs> no, you don't need to hear my ruminations. Am I... Probably got did I miss something? Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. No, tell me more of what you see. The future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel gazing at it doesn't get I wouldn't worry. Oh. No me. No me, Sunrider. She came late to the force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. I don't bring you along for your amusement, you know. Oh, stop being such a baby. Are you always so quick to turn aside an ally? Got too many of them, do you? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo, shoo! <laughs> Did the droid do anything? No! It fucking didn't! Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, that was the alpha. The biggest, the biggest fucking challenge in the whole game. The, the alpha. My god, Jolie, you just never think about it. Oh, I was wondering why there was a hole in the wall. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just keep moving. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's finally fighting. I kind of want to see this, though. He's not doing any damage, though, is he? Oh, he's fighting. Oh. Let's go. All right, time for your lightning, bro. There's, there's, there's no time to think. We need some AoE in this, in this bitch. Nice. There is an ancient console. Oh, well, that was easy. Mandalorian battle armor and a verpine. No, verpine. It's an iron weapon. Okay. Um, Geno Haradon or Mandalorian. You do lose all your. Um, Nah. Sure. And we got stunned. All of us. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Yeah. The 
contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. How would this play out if you had a gas mask on? This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Um, who are you? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. I have. Um, I've been told about you. Liar! You think I can't tell? Obviously, the academy is lax in its training as usual. Well, I know! Stupid Utha. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, <laughs> welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith. But not the gumption that I'm looking for. What if I told you I was Darth Revan? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> One of these days it'll work, man. One of these days. But not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. And if I pass your test? Then you go free. Tell you what. I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis. On ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all the music is a little bit annoying, I'll be honest. It'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. Um, go ahead, do your worst. No. Is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong. Uh... Die. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. Go ahead. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? <laughs> we can both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little? No, you I'll probably answer questions wrong life? because and I just don't know the right answer. Questions before you die. Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? So I'll probably answer wrong the first time. Because this is the right answer. I assume I used the opportunity to kill him and take his position. Incorrect. What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> it's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? Um, 
I set the reward in the system. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading up. <laughs> any rate. Yep, again. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? I keep it to myself. I'm gonna go and do a right answer now. Correct. Let them. Well, it's sad to say. Oh. Still going? All right then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake, which makes you look bad. He's normally. Give him another chance. Another chance to make you look poor to your superior. Yep, I'll get the blame. How many more questions, bro? Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Um, I pass on my knowledge. Fool, it's a trick question. A true Sith never die. I'll enjoy this one. Well, at least, at least we both survive. This is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. <laughs> How does he survive in this one place? Does he just eat the humans? Figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or, or I could use the force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll that's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent Permanent detention! Stun him! Wow, his force power is weak as fuck. Oh, I was really about to die. My 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 abilities are glitched as fuck. I stunned him again. Nice. I guess he wasn't a true Sith after all. I can't believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. They were pretty easy. Um uh i just saved you for last bro come on nobody deserves to die like that nobody yes. well i see what you mean i've never i mean i've never been on that side of the fence before it makes you think i'd be dead if you weren't i mean if you were proper sith but you're not are you don't worry i won't tell anyone hey this could be your chance to change your ways michael you mean the light side Yes. I never thought about that. Can you, can you even go back? I've done some. I mean, I've heard a lot of people. Bro, this always remorse. This whole Corbin <laughs> planet is just a redemption arc for everyone. Do that. I, I don't think the light side is for me, but maybe neither are the Sith. Maybe it's time for me to leave. Thanks, I suppose. It's a fair answer. Thank you, man. Uh, Opila, Ancient Sith Tablet, and Advance. Okay, Tomb Door. No problem. Got it. Uh, Tulak Hordes. It's a dark. Sir. What the? F what? That is bullshit. That's such a shitty item. No problem. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh, Fear Cran. I apologize. No problem. Got, Got it. it. Another clay urn with a Bondar crystal. Very nice. No problem. Got it. And uh, violet crystal. Okay, well we're done here. Have we done most of the stuff we can do? So we can now go to Uther again. Did I pick up this corpse? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we did the cave and we can't do the last valley yet because this is uh, our trial. So. And back we go.
It's so weird to see Corbin like this because in Knights of the Old Republic 2, you kind of it kind of looks the same. Obviously, the doors are barricaded and some of the the cylinders are gone and stuff like that. But it's one of the few plans where you're like, okay, this looks exactly as how I remember it last time. Maybe next time I should be playing with a a, a reshade on. I currently I'm not really using reshade. Should have done it. I used it before, but. You fucking hell, bro. I look like Darth Vader on the shadows. Jeez. It's kind of weird to think that the shadows on this game, it, it doesn't tank the performance like, for example, Skyrim or something, because I'm currently playing it. And the shadows sometimes overkill my PC, even though it's ridiculous. But yeah. Okay. Did we do most things though? Or greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You are off to an excellent beginning. Um wait, before Very I get into this, what about the whole Uthar quest? Greetings, young. I know something about poisoning the bed, but um, that's fine. I dealt with those renegade ah, students. The ones I ordered executed for their mutant. Uh, it's done. They're gone. Indeed, we checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the Shirak ate them. Eh, it is just as good, I suppose. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now. You have done. Ah, finally, the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. We should have kept that. It could have made a... Cry, remember where we are. Well done. You have impressed me greatly. Go now. You have done well, but you have not... Uh, I dealt with the rogue droid in the tombs. Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some... I am impressed. You have impressed me enough. By my estimation, to become a Sith, and you have but one final test. Which oh, come on! I wanted to talk about the other things I did. Travel to the tomb of Nagasato in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. Yes, sir. All right. I still haven't found anything for dust though. What do you need? No, what I want is to there must be something in the academy that we can bring to him. Something. Yeah. What are you doing here? Go back to Uthar. The thing is, once I go back to Uthar, um, we'll be. No problem. Didn't work. We'll be. Um, we'll kill the rest of the academy later. That's the issue. Uh, I assume it has to do with Uthar's room, and I kind of soft locked it now. And there's no way for me to actually do it, but. Uh, do I care? No. It's it's modded content anyways. I'm not too bothered. Utha, buddy! How are you doing? It's just a shame I can't give the rest of those quests in. Oh yeah, I still have to do the... Um Wait, but I couldn't get any of the other options with him.
So then, I take it you are. But I don't get the option for to talk about it. Ready then to go. go. Ah, you know what? I don't. I can't. I'd... It's too much work, man. Looks like well, we are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed, you have. I dislike your tone, Uthura. What are you up to now? Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Uh -huh. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. It, it's it's me. <laughs> reach the ancient star map that it's lies literally me. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? Um. Good. Uthura and I will await your return. You must locate the. Here we go. Um, I assuming. Yeah, the quests got removed. To be honest, it's not really my fault, is it? Utha kind of just forced me into saying, Hey, uh, you're done. Thank you for everything. Rage, really, out of all things. Oh, there's more. <laughs> I didn't see them. Um, skeletal human remains and the data pad. I know I'm in danger. Okay, I'm I'm well aware about the monsters ahead of me. I am, I am deeply in trouble because it's not like what it's not one turn tactic, it's two, right? Okay, so in order to just absolutely fuck them up, I'm gonna get myself a hyper adrenal strength. Uh, this. Time to fight! He's stunned! Attack the other one! He's stunned! Attack the other one! Kill him! Life is good. They fucking died. To be honest, even with all the stuff I got, it still took me a while to kill the Terran Tactics. It goes to show, man. They're not a joke. They're really strong health-wise. Their fucking health pool is ridiculous. I feel like this theme is kind of like uh they try to like make their own version of the Emperor's theme. Maybe that's just me. Original trilogy Emperor's theme still banks, you know. Computer terminals.
So I assume this is the thing where if you place one thing to the right, you can't place the bottom one underneath another active ring, but you can stack them on top, if that makes sense. I need to get them all to the other side, right? So I need to get the bottom one to the right first, somehow. And then work my way up. Okay, I might be fucking shit at this, so I'm gonna quickly save the game. Um... Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna try something out. Um, a right pillar. And left pillar to the middle pillar. Then right pillar to the middle one. Left to the right. Um, and then can I take the... So if, okay, if mi middle to the right, the middle to the left, and then the right to the left. Am I thinking this through? Right to the middle, left to the right. Left to the middle. Right to the middle. Left to the right. Middle to the... Right. Middle to the left. Right to the left. Middle to the right, left to the middle, and left to, to the right, and then middle to the right. I feel like there's a faster way, but <laughs> I feel like I've done, <laughs> I've taken the long route. Um, nice. I wish I got XP for this, but it is what it is. <laughs> Through the explosions like an epic man. Do it. Oh my god, I am I am brownish. Fucking hell. Monument to Naga Sadao. Naga Sadao's poison. Ah, that was the poison blade. So I, so in a previous episode or two episodes ago, I was very confused as to which weapon was from a, a, a Junta Paul. But then I had Naga Sadao's fucking poison blade in my mind when I was thinking about the model of the blade. So that's why I screwed it up. It all makes sense. It all makes sense to beans. Uh, cold grenade? I have no awareness. Star map! We did it! We've done it! 
Oh, baby. There's a couple things I need to do, though, before we actually head on to the, the final stages of the game. And the Sith lightsaber. Okay. Is there any... Did the mod... Do I have a mod that specifically adds something to it? No. It just calls it a Sith lightsaber. They probably closed the door so they could reset the location of the characters here. Okay. If I keep any of these stats active, then thank you. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? I don't believe you. I don't feel superior to anyone. If you came to the Academy, you must have felt the stirrings within you that cry out for the freedom of the dark side. That cry out for release. I can only show you the path that will lead to power and superiority. You have followed it this far. You must decide if you are capable of continuing. And if I'm not? This is where your path ends, young one. There is no turning back once you have embarked on it. The Sith are not the only ones who fight and take risks. True, but most would say they fight only when they must. Well, not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. You know, I do appreciate how, even though I still don't believe in Uther's views because he's pretty much still pure Sith, he doesn't just make everything else sound delusional or crazy, and he, he kind of accepts it as well. Um, I think I understand. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, you thought. <laughs> it is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join you thorough in her Foolish schemes. schemes. <laughs> uh... I'm with you, Thor, on this one. Do you hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith master and perish, do you? Then so be it. Ooh. I'm still gonna lock you. <laughs> what kind of Sith are you? Where are your fucking safes? Okay, time to use my stats. We stunned. Use your sneak attacks, bro. Kill him! The kill is mine! Fuck. Uthar is finished, and a new order is brought to the Academy. Excellent. Unfortunately for you, I don't intend to share power. But I don't want any part of typical. I knew this was coming. You should have no trouble defend These Sith men, I swear to God. They're sometimes fucking retarded. Gee, look at that damage. Oh damn. Stop. I yield. You are too strong for me. 
gather your hatred and strike me down if that is your will. Is that the short saver? Um, go on, get out of here. You are no Sith. A real Sith would have no hesitation in striking me down. That's right. I'm no Sith, and I'm glad of it. Then I hope you got what you came to the Academy for, whatever that was. I was right the first time back at the Cantina, wasn't I? There is something strange about you. More so than I even suspected. Your path leads elsewhere to a destiny I can only guess at. Whatever it is does not involve joining the Sith. Not yet, at least. Go then. Go and leave here. I'll... See ya. Security domination interface. He had 3,000 fucking credits on his ass. The fuck? So, I like, hold up. Wait a minute. What? I wonder how the Sith will take it now that Uther is dead and Uthera is alive. I haven't brought Uthera to the light side, though. I don't remember how that was possible or what options I need to press in order to get that working. I feel like I definitely butchered a little bit of the quest lines in Corbin. More so because I've played it for so long that in my head I automatically know the, the where and how's and how to get and like I can kind of sprint through the planets because I've played them so often. Yeah, no, the Sith won't die here because I saved one of them and they're not going to Dantwin or something. So it's like nothing happened here. Still, regardless though, there's nothing for me to find proof regarding... Um, this place so far. The only place where I thought I could find something is at the interrogation area, the dueling room. Maybe, maybe I have to fuck it up and just duel someone and they'll, they'll talk to me about the events. But aside from that, I don't know exactly what to, uh, what to do here. You can see some tortured bodies. There's a metal no box here. Got it. Droid heavy plating, okay, computer panel that doesn't add anything anymore. Because the interrogation is done. And then Sith duelists with the duel. If you're here to use Don't be foolish. If you're here to use Did they say Master Uthura? Foolish. Uh... If you're here to use No thanks, I'm pretty good. <laughs> This is where you get to hone your killing styles. We get sent captives all the time to practice on. It's That's fucked, you know. Why? It'd be a waste just to execute them. At least this way they're useful. You only get so many before the terminal cuts you off. Some of the students are a little bloodthirsty and get carried away. Just go to the... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the game though because this looks like a dark side option. Oh. Well, I, I, I got something regarding dust hole, though, but I don't think it works. But it doesn't update anything on the quest line. What do you need? No, what I want is to must be something in the academy. No problem. I don't know, man. Got it. I don't know. Um 
Regardless for now, I need to get out of here. It's been a while since I've left the academy alive. Jesus. Would that be the canon way for this story? They're, they'll have to be wiped out somehow. By the time Knights of the Old Republic 2 happens. And that's five years after. So I don't know what happens at the academy in five years time for it to be desolated. There's probably a couple items I can go and sell. It was me, why? I can look after myself. Fucking hell, this is just to sell your... Okay. That is just... You're really going... You're really working on... Okay, I'm just gonna... I've played Cookie Clicker for the past two months. I am powerful enough to do this. <laughs> nice. Can't do anything with this. I'll keep it though, just in case. It's a poison blade, man. Get rid of these things, man. Um, yeah, um, awareness A, that's not bad. Yeah, that's stupid. The there's a bit too much of these. Many of them. About all the stuff I can sell though. But in terms of buying, I wish there was a mod that could like separate the type of items you can purchase because now I don't exactly know what I should be getting myself. Well, I have the dexterity plus four, I believe. So I don't need any of these items. Back to the Urban Hawk. Right. right. Please load. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so there was something about a item here. And now you should be able to pick up. I'm surprised in Knights of the Old Republic 2 the storage room doesn't have any storage whatsoever. Uh, you have discovered a stash of spice inside the secret compartment. You will have to deliver it to Lewis and Corbin if you want to get paid for it. I will. I'm also doing it just to get the uh, the quest done, to be honest. Also, wait, 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 wait. Workbench. Armor. Revens. Oh, I can't do that. Light S exoskeleton. Someone's using it. This adds one bonus. This adds plus two strength. Fucking hell. Uh, lightsabers. Me. So I currently have two. I have an Upari amulet. Which does racial group droids 1d6 bludgeoning and 3 special. I have a next door attack bonus 1. A fair credit attack bonus 2. And 2d6 energy. Um, and a slight attack bonus. Damage bonus versus alignment group dark side. Light side damage. Ooh. Ooh. And yeah, Opilla, man... I gotta keep a pillar. This is a fucking. This is a beautiful crystal. Give me a pillar back. Actually, I can get two pillars. 
Oh, I can't use two of the same crystals. There you go. Uh, what about what about blasters? We currently only have Jamo carbon, which is fully upgraded. And well, if if we have to upgrade it, it doesn't matter. For now, we have to get back out because <laughs> we need to uh, we need to go back to that Rojan next to the Cantina. I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far because it's been. We've been at it for like what twenty two hours or so. Oh, about about yeah, about twenty five hours now of playing this game. That's impressive. It does goes to show that even with most things done, you will probably get not more than fifty hours on a single playthrough. It's very hard to get over it. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I don't work for David, remember? I want more. Yes! Yeah! It worked. Maybe. Make it 3,000, we have a deal. Oh. The thing is, though, I know what's inside the box, but I'll still open it because it's been many years and I want to experience that weird fucking trippy journey. <laughs> That's kind of the thing I appreciated from these games, is that sometimes you had quests that were just very weird. It's just odd. That's all there is to it. It's just a bunch of odd quests. And it's also good because I wanted to go back to Tatooine for the persuasion thing, because I still haven't forgotten about the persuasion in the soup race area. But I might be forced to use the dark side option to get him to talk, because I, 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 I don't have anything. Now, where is the mysterious box? There we go. Save the game. This will be in... Uh, yes, open the box. The Rakatan Mine Prison. Fucking bright. See, this one is why I need to get a new light. I'm getting. I'm gonna get a second light uh, so that the one goes to the wall as sort of like a soft light and then one up to my face. So the quality will get better, better but for now... Um... How far can I go away? Ah, oh, this is the limit. Well, if someone wants to test out if he has any dead pixels on your monitor, you can do that right now. <laughs> this is how I always do it, and it stresses me out when I buy a new monitor. Because I've currently I've purchased about eight to ten monitors and they've all been broken, had one or two dead pixels, and I'm very I'm very strict with those things. <laughs> Mostly water, I suppose you'll have to do. <laughs> um, mind telling me who and what you are? You said three in a row earlier. Have there been any others besides me? Mickey 
Oh my god, it's all white? It's infinitely white? That'd be tripping. Is there no way out of here? Oh my god, if he's been stuck here for 10,000 years, I... Oh, but I'd go crazy. I wouldn't mind living forever, but... In a white space the whole time? Nah. Um... Now, if you get out of here, your body's probably dead. I was actually thinking about it. He, he would probably take my body. His voice changed. Uh, how do I know? So what do you suggest? Are we honest, it's very hard to read the text because the, the whole white screen is tiring my eyes quickly. And the, the green hue tint is very weird. Because where does the green come from? What is the light source for the green? Um, this sounds deceptively simple. Uh, what kind of competition do you mean? Math. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't seem to have much of a choice. He does sell it very well. <laughs> but goddamn. Until I am measured, I am not known. Yet, how you miss me when I have flown. I, I can pretty much say it's not hope. It could be energy or light because they travel. Does energy travel? Or does some, I think time can be measured or time is measured. Or the weird whispers, but you are known what, uh, I think you can know the time without having to measure it. Is it though? Because ah uh, no, we don't. Fuck, I'm I'm tempted to say either uh, time or light. Uh, oh, sorry, energy or light. But measuring energy is a very weird sentence. Measuring light as well. 
I'm gonna go for time. People, I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. That was an easy one. <laughs> um... What has roots as nobody sees is taller than the trees up up it goes yin yet never grows I'm so I'll argue a mountain doesn't always grow upwards erosion erosion and the the shape of the plateau later on, because I, I look, I don't know how mountains are shaped. W to what I remember, maybe it's because of the, um, the pressure of the land, kind of pushing towards each other as it's as it's like sh uh, uh, shifting. Yeah, because we know how the how the map looks on Earth. We know how the terrain looks, but it does move ever so slightly, and those slightly pushes in a span of thousands of years would kind of push the 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 flat the flat bit the flat terrain into like a an upward I'd, maybe i'm making sense maybe not i'm sorry but it's very hard to explain what i'm thinking about right now regardless i'm sure someone can actually enlighten me i never was yet always will be i have never seen yet always come that sounds like the future. Okay, I can carry nothing yet hold much for some. A vacuum makes a little bit of sense. Rain doesn't make any sense. Gravity could make sense because yet hold much for some is because fatter people have bigger masses towards and then <laughs> they <laughs> uh tomorrow could be it i never was yet always will be because the, the tomorrow is not about the past i am never seeing it always come and tomorrow always comes so far but tomorrow carries nothing and hold much for some it could be in the sense of hope a vacuum can be seen I'm going to say tomorrow. Um, you heard me before, yet you hear me again. Then I die until you call me again. Who makes it has no need of it. Who buys it has no use for it. Who uses it is who uses uses it has no knowledge of it. It could be t time. You're making time for something. Um, but you don't need it. You can buy time. But there's no use to it. Or for it. If you're buying time for like an inev inevitability. You can use time and no knowledge could be the sense of like if you're playing games for 12 hours. Like, where has the time gone? Because you've been using it the whole time. You can't remember. You've just spent those hours. Energy. Energy could be in the sense of... You could make energy, but you probably won't need it. You can buy energy, but you don't know what to do with it. And you can use it, but you have no idea what... Yeah. Air... Air is not something that can be created as far as I'm aware. Air is just there. And a grave. A grave can be made. But someone might have a need for it. So I'm going to say... It's either energy or time. 
fuck oh man um time energy A grave! Fuck! I... I wouldn't... Nah, but it doesn't make... The first sentence doesn't make any sense. Your entire party has been killed. My entire party as well. The whole of Ebon Hog has been destroyed. Alright, let's try it again. I like them, but a grave, really. Uh, fuck. If I fuck this up already. Shit, I'm time measured. I'm not knowing yet how you missed me, Monav. Fuck. Measuring time. Um. Tomorrow. Uh, a grave. So, you can make a grave, but you don't need it. You can buy a grave, but you can't use it. And the one who uses it is, is dead. I can understand the final sentence, but making a grave can also be for someone else. It doesn't have to be for the person that is making it. And the same can be applied for buying it. You can you can already pre-purchase, you can pre-order pre your grave um, so that you get benefits when you're dead. <laughs> Flying to Dantuin, I meet five ships. Each ship has five crewmen. Each crewman five pets. How many? Oh, he doesn't know maths, does he? It's one. I'm the only one flying to Dantuin. Um. I could destroy your prison once I'm out, if you wish. Um, I could try to find some other way to get you out of here. What's your name? Uh, I'm sure someone else will be along before you know it. Gotta give him a little bit of hope. <laughs> So, why was it only one to Dan Tween? I'm the only one flying. Let me actually look. Because I, I kind of skimmed through it. I just saw numbers and I'm like, oh, he doesn't know it. Let me... What happens if I click it again? We only maybe use once by each owner. So, it was... Um... Uh, flying to Dantuin, I meet five ships. Each ship has five crew, each crewman five pets. How many in all are flying to Dantuin? Yeah, I can understand it. That's pretty smart. But it's again, they're never like when it comes to riddles, I need to have specifics because you're having such a broad answer. It could be that they're flying towards Dantuin and you don't see it. It could be that they're tourists and cruising around and then they're going to go back to Dantuin. There's, there's many things you can say to the point where you're like, okay, they're not exactly. This is not entering the Republic archives. I love it when they say that. Um. Tatooine, and then later on, I still need to go to Javin because of the loot, the the crystals.
regardless, I'm pretty certain that after this episode, we're still stuck for at least two more for Knights of the Old Republic. So don't keep your chin up, kings, because we're not done yet. And even so, if you enjoy my Let's Plays, I'm currently going to be... I'm going to be streaming uh, Skyrim for a couple months. Uh, that will be the main content right now on the channel. Um, but it's good. I'm taking my time with it. I'm taking a very relaxed playthrough. I'm not rushing through anything. Except to get the Nightingale armor. But otherwise, it's it's good fun. But some lovely people I talk to. So if you guys could also be one of those lovely people to talk to, I'd be... I'd be very happy. What does this lead to? Such a weird building. But yeah, I need to go back here. Sorry. Uh, oh. Let me see if I can actually persuade him now. You again? Not I suppose I do. Not I mean, you'd know, right? And all I thanks for making things clear. It still gives me dark side options. Fuck! <laughs> well, I was never meant to hit the light side. This is literally... If these are the choices I make, this is how far to the light side I am as a person. Let's talk about that business. I talked to him, he's willing to sign. <laughs> so, uh, I have a box for you. I did. It was very interesting. I expect... Uh, maybe I'll just keep the box until I get a better price. Fuck. <laughs> I did. Uh, let me let me sell the I need to sell those raising bonds, but they're not they're not a shop. I'm gonna go to Yavin anyways now. Gotta sell gotta sell all my shit over there. So much to sell, so much to do, my life is... Oh, baby, it's such a fucking poo. Thank you. Oh, baby, come on. To Javin we go. Well, not really Javin. It's more of like a space. It's a, a station next to Javin. We can't really go to Javin as far as I'm aware. Isn't it a, 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 a gas planet? I was going to say, bro, are you... You're going to give me some screen? <laughs> Can I get a screen? I feel like the whole Javin thing is such a weird... Because it, it was a DLC, right? It was downloadable content, but it's such a... Obviously, it doesn't exist as a separate thing now, but it's such a weird thing to think about that this was extra content. It only adds, like, maybe... It adds, like, maybe one to two hours of extra... <laughs> Uh, 
Well, he's fucked. Um, haven't I told you guys to get lost already? Well, I did try. Oh my god! Too many grenades, too many grenades, too many grenades, bro! What the fuck, bro? I've been- I've been bombarded with... ...grenades. Where's the autosave from? Oh, shit. Okay. What the fuck? No, 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 no. I'm- I'm bringing a party with this. I knew I was gonna get attacked. I didn't know it was this bad, bro. No, 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 no. The hold up. <laughs> Revan got plastered. This is canon, by the way. Where's Jody's outfit? Oh. Come on. So, oh, Jody's already dead, man. Fucking hell. This is very hard. Oh. Yeah, man, this is this is a challenge. Oh my god. Holy fuck. We actually we we are stuck right now. They throw so many grenades, it's ridiculous, bro. All right, all right, hold on. Um... And you need... what? I don't know if it helps. Um... Uh, Hyperdrenal lacrity. And some stamina. Uh, hyperadrenal stamina. And I need you to get some alacrity. What? I want to get some alacrity, uh, stimulants, and strength. One. Two. Fuck, we were outside one door. It doesn't matter. The buffs will keep on for a little while longer. It's about being able to survive at least a small portion of this. Okay, so I'm going to probably jump to this guy. I want you to use Stasis Field on these ones. And you start shooting him. Yes. Why the- Oh, it gets rid of all my buffs?
Yes. Nice. Good use of the force. Fucking grenades, man. It's the main reason. Oh, Suvam. Did Suvam die? <laughs> Bro, the, this was the hardest fight in the whole game. By miles. It's purely because I have the grenade mod, which makes the grenades more powerful and realistic. And they... They did it, man. Okay. Mantle of the Force is 25,000 credits. Son of a bitch. Um, we have skills for everything. Uh, it saves all kind of thing. Dexterity 3, Dexterity 3, Dexterity 5. Um, honestly, I feel like, okay, let me go and sell some stuff first, some expensive stuff I need to get rid of. Ooh. People are going to be like, no, why are you selling this? It's such a good crystal. I don't care. I'm not going to need this. These are very basic nowadays. <laughs> ah, the poison can also go away. It's you won't really meet that many poison like abilities. Uh I wanna sell all of these. I'll keep these. I'll probably take a droid with me for at least the final fight because he won't have that many issues with these. Okay. This looks all pretty decent. The Baragwin also probably does a fuck ton of damage, but the Mantle of the Force is important for me at least. And then this one has skills, but otherwise it doesn't add much to what I have. Is what uh, what am I using currently? Oh yeah, Wisdom Five. No, nothing will. Uh... Uh, Baragrin, this Raptor, Universal, and it's also upgradable. It's a Baragrin Repeater, which is also upgradable. Baragrin Iron Weapon X, also upgradable, and it's Iron Damage. But we won't meet that many droids, I think, by the end of the... What? The 35, though. Fuck, I do need to get that somehow. How am I gonna do this? I can sell most of these guns, I think. Um, fucking two like horse mask is that cheap, you know? If that doesn't say enough, then I don't know what will. Ooh, you, 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 you. I'm actually struggling to find stuff to sell at this point only two thousands let me actually keep looking for the list. Oh yeah, I wanted to get this one. The Alacrity, I think. Yep. Otherwise, I don't think there was there was only the big guns. But man, they really are expensive. So I currently have the Dexterity 4. Uh, it doesn't actually... It doesn't give me anything. It puts me on Dexterity 19.
Constitution 4. Oh, I killed him because his constitution went down. <laughs> I was like, okay, hold on. Let me actually level him up for skills, blah, 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 feats. Um, I probably want to give you... Um, oh, bro, you actually have everything that you need. Jesus. There's nothing I can actually give him. I'll give him this for the treat injury. Um, so without this... He gets he gets 35 more health. He loses a couple modifiers, but he also loses no defense is about the same. I only I lose two, and in terms of health, I would be going to from 219 to 257. Yeah, but the the dexterity adds some defense on my ass. I think that was the shittiest purchase I could have made, to be honest, but dexterity. And if I can actually... I'm sure I can give someone else Constitution 4 if I upgrade it well enough, so it's not that bad. Uh, I need to level up Jolie. Skills doesn't matter. Feats. Uh, probably toughness, yeah, because... He currently does. He has 126 health. Um, and from 126, he went to 144. It's it's a good shout. It's a good start. I need about a th 500 more XP to get my final level. That's a scary bit. That's a scary bit. Oh, they have stuff. Oh, they have they have credits. Ooh, they all have a thousand credits. Fuck hell, bro. I get like. It feels like I'm playing Gothic 1, because when Gothic 1, late stage of the game, you get, like... You used to get, like, regulated XP, and everything was fine, but at the final chapters, final two, three chapters or so, you get bombarded with experience to the point that you level up so fucking fast, and... Here's the same, but with fucking... Credits, bro. Look at this. I got about 7,000 credits from just these items. I think I definitely want to try and buy the Carbine because I'm... I mean, I think Jolie and Karth will be the party I will end up with at the final fight. Because me and Karth are the main DPS and he's mainly just AoE and stuff. Um, and there's nothing else I can do that I can use the credits with, I think. I have 7,000 credits, and there's not a lot of things I can currently buy anyways. These things are too expensive for me. This is a blaster rifle. This is actually a uh, heavy weapons. Damn. But he has no gun except the ones I just sold him. So make of that what you will. I'm going to have to remove it because hmm. Okay, let's just go back for now. Okay. Does Candace have any more war stories? Yeah, Give me more about the Mandalorian we Wars. We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once you had taken charge, things began to... Oh, now he's talking about me. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. You were a genius on the field. You are held in very high regard among my people. You abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others could be too fortified to strike. You made sacrifices in order to advance your goals. Such strategies had never been enough to best us before. In the end, 
You proved too much for us. If I had not stopped you, someone else would have. There was no one else. The entire Republic had committed its forces behind you. The Sith had retreated back to their empire, and there were none else strong enough to challenge us. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. Oh, mentioning Malachor V so early on? Come on. Stop it. What happened in the battle? It was not your ships or your men or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, you, that the Republic prevailed. Your strategies and tactics defeated the best we could send against you. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of your attacks, the tenacity of your defenses, and the subtleties of your plans. I did forget to mention. Us to a standstill, um, and then began pushing back. We really didn't. It's a bit chance. odd off topic, but I did mention Skyrim will be like the main thing I'll be uploading from this time on, at least. Obviously, if you watch this video somehow a year later, it doesn't make much sense, but. Um, in a week or two after finishing this game, after when that happens, I'll be slowly taking some time to install a modded version of Knights of the Old Republic 2 again, where I will be playing the Dark Path, because I've already done the Light Side version, and now I'm just going to be go pure evil and not give a shit about anyone or everything. So that will be the main event for then, um, because it's been a while since I've done a normal Dark playthrough. Um, and then I'm kind of done with the Knights of the Old Republic series because I've, I've played Light Side and Dark Side playthroughs for both games. Um, so the, there isn't much else I can do in the game to make it that interesting anymore. Uh, and I'm doing the, the Reddit's mod build. It's like a list of probably like 50 to 60 mods. And, um... That's probably going to be it. But obviously with the main thing being the Sith Lord content mod. And um, yeah. So that will still happen. So there will be there will be some Star Wars content regarding the Old Republic. For the, the foreseeable future at least. Because Knights of the Old Republic 2 will take more episodes than this game. Knights of the Old Republic 2 is fairly longer. I think... The the dark the the first playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic one I did, I ended it with seven episodes. Each episode was about four hours. I think, or was it five episodes? I don't have my phone with me right now. But I know Knights of the Old Republic two with the same time frame for each episode was. I think it was like three plus episodes longer, which amounts to 12 hours. But because I've slowed it down to two hours, which I find perfect, the, the perfect time to kind of stop doing recording. Sometimes an hour and 50 minutes or 45 minutes when I'm too tired. But two hours is kind of where I say like, okay, this is enough. Like, I'm not, I don't want to make it overly longer because the previous, the previous ones were literally four hours. It's just me sitting four hours doing the game and... It, it was a bit too much at the time, but I didn't have much else to do. And, um, yeah, so these ones will be two hours, and then the next one will also be two hours. So I can expect around 15 to 20 plus episodes for Knights of the Old Republic 2 of two hours each. Um, so, yeah, that will be, uh, that will be, that, that will be happening. And in the meantime, you'll still see my stream Let's Play of Skyrim. Uh, in between that, it will pretty much fill up my channel the most. Um, and every now and then, Star Wars content will pop up. And if I have any other videos, I will do those as well. But for now, these are the things I'm currently working on. Because with my job and then the time I have, because like I said, it's currently a free day for me. You know, it's Sunday. I work on Saturdays, but Sunday is free. And I take the morning to, to record this. And then the evening, I work on Skyrim. Yeah, and sometimes I do a reacting video and blah, 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 it's Just and then or an extension. I'm actually going to do an extension after this, which will be the Lehum theme, yes. Uh, I have a lot on my shit, all right? <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying my best, guys. I'm trying my best. I'm putting out content, okay? The Republic will always prevail. That's a... Uh, 
It's a bit too narrow-minded. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted anyway, sorry for the long combo. In a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And you won. I hold no grudge against you. Nor do any of my people. It was the greatest of honors to fight against you, even in defeat. It is even more of an honor to fight beside you now. Had you been born of the Mandalorian clans, surely nothing in this galaxy would have been able to stop us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else? Yeah, what are you... Some more. <laughs> the war the Republic was supposed to be the talk to me, baby. In our history. But it was a very costly one. Talk to I guess me. We didn't think of how much we could lose in it. You know, I'll be spending the remaining of the episodes probably just talking to people. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to upgrade the set. We're going to go back to our standing ways. And this is this is how we're going to finish the episode today, ladies and gentlemen. This will be... Ah, oh, my dick start, got stuck. There we go. As a man, I always struggle with this, I'll be honest. Oh, I need to stretch my legs, bro. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh yeah, I need to. Oh, bro. Oh, baby. Oh, nice. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> um, did I get your tail so badly? Yeah, yeah, you did. You were a great warrior, Revan. A great general. Bro, there stop sucking my dick, honestly, please. Stop it already. Was killed at the hands of the Jedi Revan. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our Better. weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. The Republic's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor. Only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. And you eventually came to Taris. Yeah, I came to Taris. And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Taris and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Taris could offer were nothing to me. But I think now, with you, I may finally find... The Hell yeah! We will! Um, you are a worthy companion. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, though, we should get on with our lot. Is there something? Uh, I think your that's fine for now. Yeah, tell me you... more. Fuck. Your choice. I don't think I can actually do much more. Uh, we have Juhani. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Of course. Actually, could I take the time off? to oh god no go back what the f it works jesus christ i need to take the time off for a second to pick up my phone because i'm annoyed i want to figure out how to do the dust quest okay i'm back so I was actually right. I was actually right. Um, but also wrong because I thought there was absolutely no way to get. So let me let me first start off by saying that yes, the information can be found in Uthar's room in Corobin. Why I was wrong is that I thought it could not be opened anymore because I didn't continue the double crossing quest. Um, however, apparently. It can be opened with a security check above 14. Because I assume sometimes the, the doors will be locked unless you cheat the game and have 99 security so that it does work somehow. But that wasn't the case. And um, I was wrong. So we're currently going to go and do that in the meantime. Because that's, uh, that's fairly important. I just want to get that quest done, I guess. And I kind of want to figure out... Oh, I was like, why is it so quiet? 
I uh, forgot to put on my headset. <laughs> yes. I'll take Karth with me, purely because I'm sure he will probably, like, he will comment on the the room or something. No way! <laughs> I don't have the security check. I need to bring um, Mission with me. Or I'll bring T3 with me, because T3 never gets to go out anyways, the poor lad. I'm pretty certain he's got the security for it. I'll probably auto level him up, to be honest. There we go. Because his security is on. Tw I think yes. I can fairly, fairly, with certainty, say that it's going to be fine. Just good to be standing for a little while. Spreading my legs right now, like. Ooh. I sometimes do this, especially when I'm editing videos and stuff, but when doing long sessions of gaming, then no, I don't like standing the whole time because it does kill your legs when all the blood is just streaming to your foot. Ah, no one is here, actually. So how are you guys doing? How's, uh, how's life? How are the wife and kids? And how's the husband? It depends. Well, I'm just saying wife and kids because... The, the demograph does show that 95% touch or so are men that are watching my content. So either no woman likes Star Wars content or I attract gay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know where I went with that. Could you guys please come? <laughs> I need to get through this awkward situation. <laughs> And it's also wrong because the demographic that I said is based on my extension channel, not the not the gaming channel. The gaming channel is still the percentage is about the same, but the one I remember is from the, uh, the extension. During this whole stream, I almost drank up this whole fucking bottle. I need to drink some water after this because otherwise it's, I'm gonna get. Fucking unhealthy. It's not good to drink this much soda, I think. Temporarily what? It, it does have a ton of fucking sodium, does it? It's in German. I'm read it. I have to ask my girlfriend. Please translate it for me. Bitte hilfe mir. Fucking I'll destroy this loud as fuck. A data pad. That data pad, just take a look at it. I wonder if Dustal knows his friend was disposed of like that. If not, it might convince Dustal that what we're saying about the Sith is true. And it'd be worth a shot. Nothing I can do with this bed. No problem. He has no nightstand though, just a couple of jars. The master Sith mask is heavy armor. Mind affecting and regeneration force points plus one. That's not bad, I think. But it doesn't beat wisdom plus five, I think, if you're going to go for a force user build, you know. But Knights of the Old Republic 2, it does get a bit annoying at the same time because... In Knights of the Old Republic 2, there's a randomized loot. Um, and can I talk to Your you? Your destiny does not lie with this Sith. At least not. But, um... Fucking hell, where's Dusta? I keep forgetting. But what I do want to say is that, obviously, in Knights of the Old Republic 1, every loot is static. You will always find the same items in the same place. But in Knights of the Old Republic 2, you don't. However... In order to do the perfect builds with the best of the items, you might not get them. Because 
I can say this for certain without even with the resort content mod. I have never, I don't, th maybe once in my let's play before this, but as before that, I've never ever gotten that fucking Darth Malak armor, even though it doesn't look like Darth Malak. It's just the Zacian Shah recolored. But that's, that's my luck. And sometimes I get literally the Zacian Shah armor set, the blue one, not the Jal Shay, the Zacian Shah, in the fucking. Harbinger at Paragus, I get one of the top, top tier armor sets, in my opinion, that early on. And I'm like, bro, we just began the game. There's no point for me to. <laughs> I assume, I assume if, if we're going to have this in the remake stuff, the randomized loop, because at the same time, it does make replay uh, fun. Because you never know what you're gonna get, and it's it's kind of like, it's not loot boxes, all right. There's no there's no money involved in this, but the the idea of not knowing what's in the box, and then opening it, and then it's based on either shitty items, a couple credits with some bizarre cards or whatever, just stupid stuff that you don't really need, or uh, you get a couple credits, a couple standard things, uh, but there's a big crystal for a lightsaber. And you're like, yes. Oh, there's one with the with everything that you need. Like, it it does it does give you that like adrenaline rush. Like, okay, I want to loot stuff. I want to actually loot because here, if you do fifty playthroughs, you're gonna get to a point where you're like, as all the by, by the way, Tasto's not here. You're gonna get to a point where you're like, okay, yep, okay, we got this. Yeah, I'm opening this one. Yep, that's here. Of course it is. You know, you you get to the point that looting is not fun anymore. Um. And I, I still like the randomized loot a little bit more, but it does have its benefits, but also its uh, non-benefits, its uh, curses, as I might call them. But uh, I definitely wish, because I feel like Knights of the Old Republic 2 is very randomized, but I wish they would kind of do it like, I know I keep talking about it because I'm currently playing it, but I wish they could do it like Skyrim. Because the randomized loot is based on your current level and maybe even story progression to the point that knights of the old republic 2 has 50 levels you can usually get to like maybe 36 i think maximum if you really min if you really try to crank out the light side and the dark side points do not matter to you you're trying to figure out the best way to get xp blah 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 but have it so that the best gear the best tier gear is found only after cer reaching a certain level that's that's where it is because as far as i'm aware you can get one of the best items so early on in the game and it just completely destroys the whole purpose of just playing it anymore because then you're like well i got the best gear now and then for a replay point of view there's no point because you've gone through the story on the light side. You've gone through the story on the dark side for the male and the female counterparts. You've, you've at least played it four times. The only thing that's really keeping you there is not really the story anymore. Sure, it's, it's fun to go back to it at some point. But if you're replaying it on a, on a monthly basis, you're going to want to try out builds. You want to try out your luck. You want to try out blasters only, a force only, fists uh, only one vibro sword, uh, two lightsabers, double bladed lightsaber only without force powers, lightsabers without force powers, uh, main character doesn't attack and you let your companions do everything, stuff like that. But it's more fun when it's all randomized, but it's also fun when it's not in the sense of that the chances of you getting the higher tier items so early on is possible because then you're like okay i have everything that i really need and then there's no there's no point for me to build my characters up because the leveling system for each character is going to be the same based on what you're going to do with them but the randomized loot on basis of which level they are it does make it a little bit more fun just don't overdo it with like putting fucking um those 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 rope uh those rope sets with a lot of prefixed uh attributes or pre preset attributes on the on the ropes uh, to make the game fucking easy already. Did I make a little bit of sense? I hope I did. It's very hard for me to. If I talk for too long, I kind of start mumbling, and then 
I can't figure out what I was saying anymore, and then I I forget about it. But I I hope I made some sort of point there. <laughs> that being said, though, I I look, I have I know the remake is coming at some point, but I have I have because it's only a cinematic which we saw a little short teaser. I have no I have no vision on how the game can look. I don't know how the engine is gonna look. I don't know how the graphics are gonna look. Granted, I'll be honest. I don't care much about the graphics because even with 2015 graphics, I would see it as a remake based on what we currently have here. Um, but I'm more interested in in the 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 outfits, uh, the lightsaber designs because every lightsaber without the mods looks the same. Uh, the lightsaber styles of fighting because right now, it if you have Knights of the Old Republic two, you have the the seven lightsaber forms and some force based forms. But they don't change how you fight. They just change your um, your stats. The one has more blast ball deflection. The other one gives you maybe some more saves. Blah, blah, blah. The other one is better for uh, does damage against dark side users. But your animations don't change. You don't change your lightsaber form in the sense of combat stat. You just change them in, self, in, in the terms of just your character stats. Um, so I wonder, I wonder, because as far as I'm aware, I think Revan was kind of a jack of all trades, master of none, when it comes to lightsaber forms. Will we have the opportunity to change our styles and then predetermine how we're going to fight a certain enemy? That's what I'm thinking. And that's what is, is more important to me. For me, what's important for the remake, at least, is the gameplay, the gameplay and the loot system. Gameplay loot system and obviously the outfits. Because my main gripe in the game is that you can only use the Revan armor set in the final 20 minutes of the game. It makes sense lore-wise, but game-wise, it's very boring. And without a new game plus, there's no way for us to have more difficult enemies when we're replaying the story, maybe through the dark side. And there's also no way for us to keep the Revan robes. Granted, even the Starforge robes are such a B-Tech version of what we currently have. It's, yeah, it's not as fun. Um, but yeah, I uh, obviously when the game's coming out, best believe I'll be busting my ass to do a stream. I won't be doing two hour stream. I'll be going for the four hours again. <laughs> you don't just play for a couple hours and leave the game not running. So tell me, father, where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Celine? Celine? She's the one who convinced me to come to the academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but he told me, he he said that she'd been lost on a mission in the valley. This this says that they killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I, I have no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now, will you leave here? I... No. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information from the inside. Something that might help. What also... I suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not going to do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over, we can talk. I'm still not sure about us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Well, I'd like that. I'll go back to Tilo. Oh, this is over. damn! You can find me. That there. made me feel good. It was Goodbye, wholesome. Son. Good luck. See, the thing is, the also another thing that I, I de I deem important as well. What I wonder is, will we have some cut content from Knights of the Old Republic one into the remake? Because I'm also going to end the episodes by the way. I am fairly certain that if the remake hits, I'm. The, the, the second game is going to come out as well, The Sith Lords. That's the game I'm kind of more interested in than Knights of the Old Republic 1. Um, because I... It depends how they do the writing, though. Because I really like the writing in the second game. But it does contradict a lot of things. Regardless. The... What was I going to... Oh, yes. The, the second game, if that remake ever comes... I'm 100% certain the restored content mod and everything else that was supposed to be in the game will be in the remake because 
the restored content mode has really hit like the the community the community as a whole because there's like even the switch version i know it doesn't have it as far as i'm aware they haven't released it um but the talks have been there and they haven't forgotten and it's one of the things we're like okay we're gonna release this game we probably should have that content up the mobile came out first thing we had to make sure is can we mod it can we play the restored content mod on the phone the remake if that doesn't have it people will ask about it and if it doesn't have it then people will probably riot <laughs> but anyways i don't want to talk for too long um i'm gonna leave it here now we've we're kind of done with every main important quest as far as i'm aware i can't do this quest because the game is stuck but i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna thank you all for watching i'll be back in a week or two with another episode i'm taking this slow now because i'm moving up more content for my streams and unless i have so many days off i don't have the time to record as well and tomorrow i don't want to do this again because it's i don't get enough time for my own and i kind of want to have some some me time as well um i know you're playing games it's peaceful enough uh, there's a difference between recording and streaming and then also just playing games on your own all right you'll notice it if you ever start to do it anyways thank you all for watching it's been a pleasure i hope you guys have a good and i'll see you all in the next episode of either if you're gonna go into a hop into skyrim or i'll see you guys in the next nice of the old republic video all right take care everyone love you all